The Faroe Shetland Channel in winter can be a cold, stormy and dark place to work, with even one of the best research vessels forced to seek shelter from some of the worst weather. This is a compilation of footage shot over a number of years on board MRV Scotia in December during a continuing investigation into overwintering colonoid copepod populations. It shows some of the dedicated staff and specialist sampling equipment used in these surveys and the poor weather they regularly have to work in. One of the main sampling tools is the CTD carousel which stands for Conductivity, Temperature, Depth. It can take water samples at discrete levels through the water column as it is lowered vertically with the vessel stopped. It sends data via a cord cable in real time to the computers on board. Here we see nutrient and salinity samples being taken from the water bottles on the carousel. These can tell us a lot about the density and productivity of the seawater at different depths of the water column. Sample bottles are carefully rinsed three times and disposable gloves are used to avoid contamination of the samples. Meanwhile, Scotia steadily makes her way in heavy seas and poor light to the next sampling position. In one of the container labs, samples of water from the carousel are filtered onto fiberglass filters for chlorophyll determination and also microplastics monitoring. The sintered glass bases of the filtering rig provide support for the filter papers as a shoe pump causes gentle controlled vacuum in the rig to suck seawater through the filters. Fiberglass filter papers with the filter material on them are carefully removed using forceps and placed in sterile numbered tubes before being put into the dark in a freezer. As Scotia continues the survey, the weather is due to improve slightly, the low winter sun making a brief but welcome appearance. Another main sampling tool is ARIES, standing for Auto Recording Instrumented Environmental Sampler. Its depth and speed through the water column are monitored using a ScanMar system and the data are displayed on a computer. It is towed obliquely through the water at four knots from a crane down to 2,000 metres. Here we see Aries being recovered at the end of a tow. Weighing three quarters of a tonne, it is being safely lifted in a heavy Atlantic swell into the shelter of the main trawl deck to allow the plankton and water samples to be recovered and the electronic data downloaded via a plugged-in cable to one of the container labs.
This continues 24 hours a day, even in heavy hail storms. The 110 plankton samples from Aries are in individual cord ends which are velcroed to a moving belt. They are recovered and the biological material is washed onto mesh squares of the same porosity as the cord ends and then placed in glass vials with preservative. Some of the samples where heavy concentrations of copepods are found are examined under the microscope and selected males and females are picked out to be frozen in liquid nitrogen for further detailed analysis ashore. This is highly demanding precision work in very arduous surroundings. Every second year a towed sledge is used instead of Aries. It does not collect plankton samples, which are very time consuming and expensive to analyse, but it carries all the instrumentation that Aries does, including an optical plaque counter, Seabird CTD and other instrumentation. Working in heavy weather slows everything down and makes even the simplest job much more difficult than it needs to be. Detailed planning on a day-to-day -day basis with the master of the vessel is necessary to ensure that as wide a coverage of the survey area as possible is attained. On selected areas where we found high concentrations of copepods, we trawled to catch fish that might be predating on the copepods. We were particularly interested in some of the smaller species of fish. The catch was deliberately dumped on deck for sorting to prevent the normal fish hopper causing size selection. The larger fish were measured and recorded using standard sampling protocols. Samples of pout and other small fish were bagged up and frozen so that their stomach contents could be examined ashore by experts. The weather and sea combined to make our passage back to Aberdeen slow and difficult. Everyone on board is keen to be back for Christmas. However, we are returning with a significant haul of good quality data which hopefully will increase our knowledge and understanding of a complex marine environment and some of the smaller creatures which inhabit it.